What is up, guys? We back with another video. So the good folks over at Five Fine, they sent us out one of their K688 USB XLR microphones for us to take a look at on the channel. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video today. All right. So shouts out to them for doing that. I really do appreciate it. Now, a lot of you know that I'm currently rocking the K658. That's what I've been rocking for a minute now. And I'm really, really stoked to see what this K688 sounds like. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive right into the box. All right, guys, so if you're looking for this microphone, you can find it right here on Amazon, and I will throw a link up in the description, but the price is about $82.99, all right? And again, this is the Fifine Dynamic Microphone XLR USB Podcasting Mic. Uh, like I said, this is the Amplitank K688, all right? Uh, scrolling through real quick, this is what it's going to look like for you right here. Kind of reminds me of the K658, which is the one that I currently use right now, um, but it does seem to be a little bit smaller, all right? Uh, dynamic recording microphone presents clean and detailed voice uh, like I said has the XLR connector you can connect it to a mixer as well as a sound card got the accessible USB connection headphone jack uh, mic gain knob monitoring uh, volume control knob as well um, works with uh, Windows Mac OS PS4 PS5 got a quick mute button just like the uh, K658 um, right here it says it has a solid metal build all right so uh, with all of that guys real quick just some small quick information so we can get right into the actual box we'll go ahead and dive in so taking a look at this box man it looks really nice i love five finds uh presentation on their boxes man it just looks amazing uh has uh, some quick branding across the top nice picture of the uh, microphone itself k688 xlr usb dynamic podcast microphone more information right here on the front right here it just says five fine right there on this side some manufacturer information on the back Shows you everything that you're going to get in the box. And then right here, just some more quick information for you there. So opening this thing up, first and foremost, you're going to have the little foam right here on the top. Move that out of the way. Greeted by the actual user manual. It's pretty, it's kind of pretty thick manual, but I highly suggest you guys take a look at that if you need to get yourself up and running, all right? Right here, you're going to have your 3.8 to 5.8 ad adapter for the uh, boom arm right here. Uh, and as you can see, this one doesn't come with a boom arm like some of their other mics all right next you're going to have your usb-c cable right here i'm just trying to show you guys both ends usb-c cable uh right here and last but not least uh, nothing else in the box you're going to have the actual mic itself and uh this is what it's looking like kind of reminds me of the k65a kind of has that same dimension but it does seem to be a little bit shorter than the k65a down here on the bottom you're going to have your uh, xlr right here you're going to have your usb-c headphone jack you're going to have your volume control for the headphones and your volume control for the mic there right here you're going to have your mute button and it is touch sensitive so you don't have to like there's no clicky button you just kind of touch it and it should go into mute kind of sort of like the uh, k65a and uh, this is where you're going to mount it to a actual boom arm uh, like i said keep in mind this mic didn't come with a boom arm or a stand so hopefully you have one laying around on hand or you may have to purchase one uh, this right here feels uh kind of like a velvet felt type material and it's really soft doesn't have that same feel as the K658, uh, but it does feel really, really nice. You can actually take this off too and see what it looks like under here. Uh, once you put that back on, like I said, this is what it looks like here. Uh, feels real sturdy, uh, has a like a metal um, design. Feels real good in the hands, I like it. Uh, seems to be real sturdy, seems to be well built, but I think that's with all of their current microphones right now, especially the K658, I really do. I enjoy that microphone. I'm still using that microphone right now. So when I switch over to this one, we should at least be able to hear a difference. All right. Um, one thing to keep in note, I don't have a uh, XLR cable right at the moment. So I'm going to be going through the uh, USB-C. Uh, but once I get an XLR cable, if you guys want me to come back at a later time and uh, kind of show you what it sounds like with the XLR, I can do that. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to be too much of a difference. But, you know, quality is quality depending on which uh, port you use. All right. So. Uh, real quick let me go ahead and get this thing mounted on the actual boom arm and then we'll switch over to this do a couple of audio tests we'll talk a little bit more about this microphone uh, in comparison to the uh, k658 and then we'll wrap this video up all right okay so now we have switched out to the k688 and this is going to be the audio quality that you can expect coming from this microphone now keep in mind i will not do anything to the audio like i always say i'm just going to leave it exactly like it is we're going to get it straight from the microphone with no tweaks whatsoever now i don't i'm not like super close to it but i'm kind of like maybe like an inch maybe an inch or two away from the microphone um but this is the audio quality that you can expect coming from it uh, i have a keyboard right here in front of me so i'm just gonna kind of talk and 
you know, type at the same time so you guys can kind of see what that will sound like if you wanted to use this for streaming or gaming or something like that. All right, so I'm typing and I'm just kind of talking, you know, yeah, man, let's play some Call of Duty. Let's do this. Let's do that, you know, so forth and so on. And yeah, yeah, that sounds pretty good, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Catch you guys later. All right. So that's what you can kind of expect if you're typing. Uh, on a keyboard and you're using this specific microphone uh, real quick too I just want to uh, test some of the plosives so we'll just do Peter Piper picked all right so Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers a peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked if Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers how many pickled peppers Peter Piper picked so hopefully that comes out good I won't know until post all right one more test I want to do is a kind of like a silent test just so you guys can see what the background noise is there is a lawnmower going on outside and my son and my daughter is watching TV in the living room and it's kind of up a little bit. Plus my uh, lights that I have on has a light fan noise going on. So I'm going to be quiet for about five to six seconds. All right. So there you have it. Hopefully uh, it kind of, didn't pick up all of that background noise, but to be honest, I can hear it really good because I'm sitting in here uh, and that noise is, is very, you know, uh, what's the word, prevalent? Like it's very in my face. I can hear that little fan going. It's not too loud, but I can hear it humming a little bit and I can definitely hear that lawnmower outside. So just a couple things about this microphone that I actually like just um, as far as visual is concerned, like the hardware and stuff like that. I like how this mic looks. I have the uh, K658 right here. To me, this mic is uh, really big and heavy, but I like this mic a whole lot. This is my favorite one. I have to see what this one sounds like, but as of right now, the K658 is my favorite one. Once I see what this sounds like, then I kind of make the determination between the two, but I'm pretty sure uh, it's going to sound pretty good. Um, but what I like about this one is that it is smaller than the uh, K658. At least to me, it seems to be a little bit smaller than the K658. And the actual shock mount, this one is plastic on the K658, but this one is metal on the K688, all right? Um, I do like the way they have the mute button kind of recessed into the actual microphone uh, where this one is kind of like pushed out on this knob right here. And all of your controls is kind of hidden in the back of the microphone. Vice, all of your controls are here on the top um, as well as your uh, headphone and USB-C is on the bottom down here. Now, don't get it twisted. This one is the one that I like right now. It's my favorite one out of the two so far until I hear this playback. But I do like this mic. I do like the way it's built. I like the way it looks. And I got a feeling I'm going to be using them both, um, probably using them both on each one of my setups, each one of my desks. So for right now, Five Fine is the way I'm going to be rocking out, at least for now, right? Um, just another thing I like about this microphone is um, just the fact that, like, the footprint, I can't explain it, it's smaller than that mic. And it's like this footprint of this mic on my desk just kind of makes it seem like like there's no clutter. I don't, I don't know. There's no clutter because I do have screens right here. I got two uh PC screens right here in front of me as well. Um, and having this mic coming off of the boom arm uh, just kind of seems like it's just not in the way, right? It just seems like it's not bulky or in the way. Not saying that this one is, but this is a big mic to me and it's heavy. This, this one's way heavier than that one. Um, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, this is the K688. Five Fine was kind enough to send this out, so shouts out to them. Um, hopefully this audio quality has been good for you guys. Again, this has been the K688 Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you want to see a full comparison between the K688 and the K658, drop me a comment. Let me know. Um, also, let me know what you guys think of the audio quality um, of the K688 because at the very beginning of this video, up until we switched, we were using the K658. So let me know what you guys think of the audio. Uh, and hopefully this video has been helpful to you in some way. If you did find it helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.